Good morning, Appleton. Wanting to bring you a special Easter praise and worship service as we celebrate um, Easter weekend. Um, and as Pastor Anastasia is going to be bringing us um, the word in just a moment. But first, some music with Pastor John and my very able assistant, Katie. Please join us as we sing Power in the Blood. Yes, you can use your hand motions even there at home. Power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you were capable of victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. Ready? There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood. Because Jesus loves us and loved us so much that he was willing to die on the cross for us, let's sing the classic favorite that we all know and need all our hands for. You'll have to stand up for this one. Jesus loves me. You ready? Are you standing? Are you ready? Got those fingers? Got those hands? Okay, let's sing Jesus loves me together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Na 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 Yes, Jesus loves me. Loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Good job, Jesus loves us. What better way to celebrate Jesus' sacrifice for us and his love for us? Then a song that we all know and that we've all loved singing together as an Appleton community for years and years. And that's all in all. Again, you'll need your hands to get yourself involved. Let's sing together. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my
I don't know about you, but I spend so much time watching the news these days that sometimes it can become really overwhelming. It feels like every time I turn on the news, it's something to do with the pandemic and naturally, it always feels like gloom and doom. I feel overwhelmed. There's only one place that I find comfort and that's in the Bible. You know, when we look at this Easter story and we think about everything that it means, we can find some hope. It helps me to realize that there is actually light at the end of the tunnel. Just like the darkness that we're experiencing today, that gloom and doom of the reality of COVID-19 just creeping closer and closer and closer to our doorsteps can really have us flustered with anxiety and fear. But I remember that in the Bible, there was another dark time that hit. And it was the time when Jesus was on the cross. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 23 and verse 40, reading verses 44 and 45, it says, and now it was the sixth hour and there was darkness over the, all the earth until the ninth hour. The sun was darkened and the veil of the temple was torn. You see, when Jesus breathed his last breath, there was complete darkness and it almost felt as if it was a darkness that would last forever people were afraid they could not believe that hey was this really the son of god did we really just crucify him well let's look at it from our perspective right now it feels like earth is going through a really dark time it, there's actually no country that I know of in the t entire world that isn't on a lockdown, that isn't dreading the possibility of COVID-19 taking out its citizens. And when I look at this day and I see the darkness that followed on the day when Jesus died, I do have hope because I've read further in the story and reading further in the story, I've come to realize that the darkest hours, my friends, often occurs just before dawn. And just like in the case of Jesus, he did die and it was sad. The Bible tells us that his mother and his followers, they all wept. They all were in disbelief. They all were anguished, but as time went on, we know that light was at the end of the tunnel for Jesus because early Sunday morning, we are told that Jesus woke up. He got up with all power and he beat death. So when I see all this gloom and doom and I see the death toll rising, one of the things that gives me the greatest amount of hope is that when our hearts are hidden in Jesus, we have no need to fear because he is able to dispel even the darkest hours. I'm not sure of everything that you may be experiencing, but perhaps you are having some darkness in your life emotionally physically, or perhaps it's just the fear and anxiety that's taken you. Well, I want to remind you that Jesus didn't stay in the grave. He did rise again. And there is hope that if Jesus rose again, there's hope for you today. Don't look up. There's light at the end of this tunnel.